How to measure light for indoor plants. Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Luke and I do talk about houseplant care and houseplant design. Now I know the problem that some might do not know how to interpret vague phrases like bright indirect sunlight. Therefore I made this video to make you a professional in measuring every single corner of your apartment and the light intensity it gets so you can place your houseplants in the best ever location in your home. So learn and have fun! Now the first thing you have to know is that the unit we measure the light intensity our houseplant gets is foot candles and not lux. If you can only use lux, you want to multiply that number by 0929. The first thing you want to do is to go to your app or Google Play Store and search for the light meter app. But honestly, try it. Go to the app store, it takes 30 seconds, type in light meter, install it and play around with it and you will learn really, really much within a few minutes. If you use the app Light Meter on your phone, all you want to do is select the settings Outdoor, Back Camera and Foot Candles. Then you want to hold the phone next to your plant with the camera pointing towards the window. Simple as that. <laughs> if you do use a professional light meter like I do, you always want to hold the sensor pointing towards the light source, not towards the plant. That's very important. Professional light meters are more precise and you'll have them a lifetime. Now I placed the one I used down in the description below. It cost me 30 euros, which should be around $38. Of course, it's an investment, but I think if we take the fact into account that the major energy source of our plants is light, I think it's important to measure the light intensity as precise as possible. So um, yeah, think about it. <laughs> but how do you exactly interpret the number on the screen? There are four categories you can order this number into. 50 to 150 foot candles, 200 to 400 foot candles, 400 to 800 foot candles, and everything above 800. Now I made a free PDF for you on our website, link is down below, where I put all the most popular plants into a category so you know where to place them after you've measured the light intensity of your corners in your apartment. 50 foot candles is considered low light. Plants like philodendrons, photos and snake plants will survive and possibly grow in this area. However, low light doesn't mean no light. In this zone, a plant always should see a window, even if it's standing far away. And can a plant survive in a windowless bathroom? Two hundred to four hundred is a really good range for most tropical plants you'll have at home, like rubber plants or pileas. But also low light plants will do well here. Now this is my favorite zone actually, as the plants do grow in this zone, but I don't have to water too often. Usually every well three to four days for me and my apartment should be okay. Because the higher the number gets, the more often you will have to water your plants. In the next category, for instance, 400 to 800 foot candles, your plants will experience rapid growth, but you will also have to upscale your watering frequency. But of course, guys, there's also a limit. Most plants which like to stand in bright indirect sunlight, which are most tropical plants, can stand a maximum foot candle light intensity of 1000. Everything above 1000 can be critical and you well, have the chance that the plants get burned and um, yeah, I think we don't want that. I do recommend measuring the light intensity during noon when the sun shines the strongest. Succulents and cacti should get at least 800 foot candles, but they also can go up to triple the amount, as this is what they are used to in the natural environment, although they will also grow in lower light conditions. Just to give an example, this Ripsalis grew in direct sun and this one in a shadier place. Both do well, but one grew faster than the other. Guess which one? <laughs> now guys, thank you so much for watching the entire video to the end. Hopefully you give the video a like as this helps more than you think. And I'll see you next week for next week's video. Stay healthy with Luke.